Around USF's College of Marine Science, Dr. John Paul is affectionately known as Dr. Evil. It's definitely, I think, an appreciation. <laughs> Paul and his team could be on the verge of making millions of dollars as they put the finishing touches on this invention. It's a handheld sensor that can test fish to make sure it matches the label. We actually developed the technology to detect red tide. And uh, one of our deans said, oh, if you could do the same thing for grouper, they would knock a path to your door. That's because, according to a study, about 20% of grouper is fraudulently mislabeled, substituted with inferior fish like Asian catfish or tilapia. You can take this to a warehouse, a fish house, within a rather high percentage of accuracy. Is this grouper or is this not grouper? The developers showed us how easily they can test fish, putting a small sample in a tiny tube and letting the sensor do the rest. In this case, grouper and tilapia they bought from a Publix passed. Studies show overall anywhere from 30 to 50 percent of fish is mislabeled, costing fishermen, the seafood industry, and consumers up to $25 billion a year. There are also health concerns when grouper is substituted by fish with higher mercury levels. Now these scientists have turned into business owners, starting their own company, Pure Molecular, to market the sensor worldwide. The sensor, known as Grouper Check, will be sold for about $2,000, and the technology can be modified to stop fraud involving all types of seafood.